you know, at the beginning of uh, the summer of COVID, uh, I had a problem like a lot of people uh, wanted to build something. Specifically, I wanted to build a 6x6 uh, storage bunkie. But, you know, the Home Depots, the supply stores, they were sold out of everything. So in order to put together the individual pieces uh, for my bunkie, it would have taken me... Well, I don't think I would have got all the pieces I needed. So what I did to solve the problem was uh, I ordered a bunkie kit from Bunkie Life. Let me show you. Well, here's my bunkie kit. Um, all put together. The only thing I have left to do is is put on the roof. Uh, I've got roofing panels over there, which I'll be uh, cutting and installing on on top of the roof. So I've got it. Uh, I've got tar paper on the roof boards right now, and then a tarp on it just as an extra layer to uh, to keep it dry until I get the uh, permanent roofing on. But other than that, everything else uh, is all together. I mean. As you can see, it's kind of modular. It's like putting together a, like a little log home or something. All the pieces, you know, just like Bunky Life promises, all the pieces uh, snap together. They just kind of stack on top of each other. Uh, again, like putting together a, a log home. Um, all the, here, I'm gonna give you a close up of the joints. All the joints are tongue and groove, and so it's an airtight fit. Uh, if I pan back here, you can kind of see uh, the interior. I got the floorboards down. Um, you know, the roof, uh, everything is tongue and groove, uh, with the exception of the roof boards, so it's all airtight. The door comes with it, the door just slides in, um, everything comes pre-cut, uh, you know, again, it's pretty easy to put together. Uh, Bunky Life said that you could put this together in about, uh, well, in about a day. Um, with a couple of people helping me, I got it done in about five hours. So... Now, according to Bunky Life, you know, when do you get to that point? Yay, your Bunky is done. But, you know, it's not really done. Yes, you can get the kit, uh, the 6x6 six six kit, assembled in four or five hours. But uh, it took me some additional days uh, to particularly put on the stain, which uh, took about a full day uh, to keep the wood preserved because it's raw wood when it shows up. Um, also, before I started the kit here, um, I just built a 6x6 six six foundation on top of concrete blocks. Again, that was a separate project that, uh, that took a few hours. So, you know, from top to bottom, including the roofing, which again, I do not have on yet. Uh, I don't know if it's a full day build, but definitely you could do it in, you know, two or three days and then it's all set. Now... I should tell you a couple of things. Now, if you're getting the 6x6 Bunky Kit uh, from Bunky Life, um, the assembly instructions, I don't know, it's, it's hard to see, but I wish I had the exposed frame to show you, but the, uh, the floorboards, uh, ooh, close up of the floorboards, um, they're tongue and groove, they go together and they, they snap into place, but when I was looking at the instructions, they didn't have any supporting 2x4s recommended for the edge of the floorboard. So what that meant is I had to, uh, before I put the floorboards down, I screwed in another supporting 2x4. So but when I stepped on the edge of the flooring, you know, it wasn't going to press down. I mean, you want it rock solid. So mine is, but again, I had to, you know, look at the plans and then realize that, um, I don't know who designed the, the plans, but they didn't allow for the corners uh, or the edges of the floorboarding. So if you're putting together a 6x6 bunkie kit, you'll definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, now, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video, I also haven't installed the roofing yet, too. So again, I'm going to be doing that. But um, they don't include roofing materials, um, well, with the 6x6 from Bunky Life. Probably, maybe with the other kits as well too. They don't include the roofing material, so that's a cost that you're going to have to to factor in, and and labor as well too, labor and time. So you're you're going to want to allow for that. The other thing you want may want to keep in mind is that uh, you know the door, again the door kit, it just kind of slides down uh, as you're building the walls. Um, it 
the door does, you know, it comes square, it comes true, but in, in doing all this and, and all of the hammering, I mean, I don't know if you're going to find this, but what I found was that, I mean, you can see it's just, it's just catching. I can, I can kind of push it closed and pop it open. Right now it's sticking a little bit. So, I mean, I'll just take like a block planer and I'll just, you know, shear off a little strip of wood down there. That's going to fix the problem. But when you are installing the wood, just, uh, or, I mean the door, just, uh, you know, make sure it's square, make sure it's true. And if it sticks a little bit, it's a pretty easy fix. Oh, the other thing that I found too, again, uh, from this when I got it was that this, uh, this latch plate here, um, we had to cut it like back in more into the wood because it was sticking out too far. Um, uh, you know when it was pre-built they just put the latch out too so it may be a manufacturing thing that's constant among doors that come with Bunky Life uh, kits or not I don't know but again just uh, be aware of little things like that um, as you're putting this together the other thing that I've done I don't know if you can see it but it's starting to dry but I ran a bead of caulking all along the uh, the edge of the roof boards um, I've also done, I don't even see that, yeah, and that's drying as well too in the corner. Um, to keep it weather tight, keep it bug tight, um, that's an additional step that, uh, that uh, you're going to have to uh, take when assembling one of these bunkies. Um, so again, just allow for that. Uh, I used, on the 6x6, to do the outside and the inside, I used three tubes of monococking, so, uh, so buy three tubes. Another thing you may want to keep in mind is that um, the fascia boards here are running along, you know, the length of uh, the side of the bunkie. Um, these boards here, it's hard to tell, but they actually angle inward. They don't come down, you know, 90 degrees to the ground. Um, they do angle a little bit inward. Now that's not really a problem if you're just shedding water off your shed, but if you're planning on installing uh, eaves along the sides to, you know, collect rainwater, um, you know, for use uh, for gardens or for filtering or for drinking, that fascia board is gonna require you to, you know, put an additional piece to sort of bring it down more um, you know I don't know exactly how you would do that but again just a small thing to keep in mind if you're collecting rainwater 